A girl quietly put the baby on the tracks of a stopped train. There was a crunch and people gasped. There was a cat at a railway station called Mirka. She went by many names, Mirka, Mashka, and Muska. She answered all of them. She was tender, and she came close to everyone. The cat was as fluffy as a hat with ear flaps. Mirka had given birth to kittens three times, usually under the counter of the barmaid Daria. Although this village is not large, the railway station had a snack bar, a restroom, and even a room for mothers and children. The railway workers had an interchange here, changing trains and long-distance runs, so it needed a decent station for transit passengers. Where did Mirka come from? Well, many cats in the village tended to go to the railway station. There was a warm place, the rubbish bin was full of leftovers, and the waiting room was generous in all kinds of weather. However, the station manager didn't like cats and repeatedly commanded to exterminate them. Daria was in love with Igor, the station manager, and it seemed that only a blind man could not see this, and neither did Igor. Daria was shy to confess her feelings. She was a country girl, so she was raised to believe that a man should make the first step. A girl who makes the first step first is no other than a girl of easy virtue. Showing herself like that, she couldn't expect to get married. Igor also had a secret. No one dared to suggest that this respectable man was in love with the barmaid, not even his closest friends and acquaintances. The station manager was 10 years older than Daria and very uncomfortable about it. He thought such a young, beautiful, cheerful girl could not pay attention to the gray-haired man in glasses. That is why Igor behaved with Daria like the strictest boss. He frowned his eyebrows, spoke sternly, and gave absurd instructions, falling in love with Daria even more. Igor was sure she should meet a handsome young man and tie her fate to him. He had never even thought to talk to her. Let's leave these crazy lovebirds who would rather suffer than talk to each other and return to our cat. When Mirka appeared at the station, she instantly fulfilled Igor's wishes to rid the building of cats, except that she could not guarantee to get rid of herself. Mirka was fighting off all the village cats, reclaiming her territory by mortal combat. She waged tactical warfare with reconnaissance, landing, attacks, and assaults, resulting in severe wounds to herself. Daria repeatedly treated her eyes, nose, and ears, but Mirka did not give up. Now that her war was over, no one left at the station, and she was the absolute mistress. Mirka kept order in the kitchen and pantry. She never stole food or allowed others to do so. Naturally, Igor had no idea about this, nor did Mirka about the fact that this strange angry man with glasses was the boss. One day, she came as a mistress of her reclaimed territories to the middle of the waiting room and amused herself in the sunshine. She was licking her fur and looking around her surroundings. The place was very comfortable. She could see everyone and everything going in and out of the hall. What the hell is that? Igor growled. What is it? Pointing at Mirka. It's Mirka, Daria answered. Take it away, Igor said and went to the stairs. No, said Daria quietly. Igor turned around slowly. What? I didn't hear you. No, I said. This cat is the only one who managed to cope with the task you set. It got rid of all the other cats in the station. Do you see any of them? Said Daria, pointing with a broad gesture towards the waiting room. I don't understand. What? Asked Igor. It's time to choose. The station will have one Mirka or billions of Mirkas, said Daria. Mirka meowed loudly and affirmatively, as if supporting Daria's words. Igor didn't know what to say, so he left, but he never talked about Mirka again, until one incident abruptly changed the lives of all three, Daria, Igor, and Mirka. One day, an idiotic teenage girl in the village got pregnant while unmarried, and concealed her situation without telling her mother. As a result, the girl gave birth to a boy an unhappy creature in a difficult situation with no support or help. The girl decided to hide the baby among her dolls, as if they wouldn't notice. The baby cried out a lot because the negligent mother had no milk and didn't realize she had to feed him. To avoid attracting attention, she chose a strange way to get rid of the baby. The poor girl must have had postpartum depression, which is not unusual in this situation. She put the baby in a basket and took him to the railway station. 
The train going to the capital was just arriving that day. Crowds of exhausted passengers exited the train and walked around the platform, some to the restroom, others to the snack bar. Thus, the waiting time was long. The train had been standing for 15 minutes. Villagers wanted to earn money by selling passengers pies, milk, and eggs. It might seem like the girl wanted to abandon her baby on the train or at the station, but that was not the case. Quietly, she crept up to the tracks and put the basket with the baby just under the train's wheels. Luckily, someone among the people saw and shouted, Look, she put something in the track! A girl! That's what she has in the basket! But it was too late. The train stop was over. The mother knew which time to choose. The train slowly moved, and everyone heard a terrible crunch. The mother suddenly looked around and realized what she had done. There was no way back. She jumped onto the departing train, and no one saw her again. Everyone saw an empty basket lying near the tracks when the train left. The dry willow twigs had broken. Mirka had recently delivered kitties again. Daria pulled Mirka's box from under the counter to see if the kittens had opened their eyes. A little, newborn boy was lying in front of Mirka. He greedily suckled her milk, and Mirka purred loudly. Igor came. What to do with it now? asked Daria when the chief came. You don't want to say that Mirka gave birth to the baby, said Igor. Call the police. We have to put him in an orphanage. I want to adopt him, said Daria. I love you, said Igor unexpectedly. Finally, said Daria. They were sitting near the box where the baby was lying, and a cat was furiously purring. Igor and Daria ignored it. They were kissing with their eyes closed. When they married, they adopted the boy and took Mirko with them. So that's the story. Thank you for listening to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. All the best.